Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have the latest update on my RPG bow and arrow controller. In this video, I will walk you through all the new features, fix and improvements as well as how the pricing has changed since the last version. I have divided this update into major and minor improvements. Let's start with the major updates. In major updates, the first update is fixed diagonal movement. One of the biggest issues in the previous version was the diagonal movement and it didn't look smooth or natural so now that's been fixed on the left side of the screen you will see version 0.1 and on the right side it's version 1.0 with the updated diagonal movement all the player states have been properly adapted to this change The second update is smooth crouch to active transition. Earlier, pressing the crouch button while in motion caused the player to have glitches or skip of the animations and this now is fixed. Crouch transitions are blended smoothly into active movement even though you repeatedly keep on pressing the crouch button. So the third update is looping animation fix. Previously, when entering into slow motion, looping animations like walking, run or active movements had a noticeable shutter while looping. In this update, looping has been completely smoothened out. So the fourth one is a new state that I have added and that's death. So yeah, uh, that state has been added once the player health drops to zero. They will now transition into a different death animation that reflects the current state. Whether you are in active or inactive, each of its has a different animation that's played. The fifth one is idle animation logic. The idle state looked flat before, so I have added idle logics that make the character look around or move subtly and keep the player engaging, similar to what we see in video games. And talking about mine updates, the first one is the health bar. I have added a health bar system and in advanced pack it includes a drop effect for smoother health reduction instead of an instant drop. The second update is sudden stop animation. So I have added a logic graph for sudden stops so now the player transition naturally from running to stopping in the active state.
So the third update is leg animation fix. So there was an issue when switching from active to aim where the legs would stutter. And now in this update, this has been fixed. So the last second is smooth equip and unequip bow. So you know equipping and unequipping bow is now much more smoother and I have also fixed some small glitches transitioning between the states like walking to active or vice versa. And several rare bugs that only appeared during extensive testing has been fixed and unfortunately I can't show each of those bugs. So yeah, this all comes under minor bugs. Now let's talk about development notes. Honestly, I wasn't planning to continue this controller after running into the issues with Mixamo animation licensing and I even started work on different controller with some custom animations. But then someone emailed me saying that hey, they are waiting for the controller and was ready to buy it that motivated me to revive the project. While making a free smaller version of the YouTube course, I decided to bring this back one as well. So here it is and you can test out a playable version on my github so the link is in the description and if you enjoy the project please star the repo and also like this video so to support the work. Now let's talk about pricing. This time the controller is available in two variants and yes so the first one is the base variant that comes with 15 USD and the second one is the advanced variant that comes with 29 USD. So let's talk about what's the difference between those. So the base variant includes full root structure of the controller, but this does not include the GUI or VFX pack. So if you just want the structure, then you can go with this and you need to customize all these stuff such as GUI, VFX and audios on your own. While the advanced variant includes audio, VFX and GUI elements so that you don't need to create them by your own and it's still in current development phase but you can pre-purchase and you'll also get some huge updates for free all right that's it for the update thank you guys for watching my video if you have any questions you can drop them in the comment and don't forget to like share subscribe for more and as always have a great day